Has anyone guessed yet what board we're installing? You want me to show you? It is the Clipsal Max 9. Welcome back to the channel. It is 5 a.m. on a Sunday, but I'm doing something exciting today. So I'm up early and I'm keen. I'm gonna be fitting off the distribution board at our new shed. Now, it's something pretty special and I'll show you when we get there. Um, we're one of the first in Australia to be, to be installing one of these boards. So first of all, I've got to do the most important thing of the day when I'm getting up this early on a Sunday. I'm gonna get a coffee going. Got to get some gear. I'm gonna take the uh, take the crimpers out because we have. Uh, I've got to still connect up the sub mains in that board as well. So, what's the chances that these are all dead? Oh, someone did their job right. Now I reckon today we'll just be doing, I'm not gonna be doing any testing after the board or anything like that. It's just gonna be the fit off of the board. I'm trying to get it done now because I'm going away and we wanted to film, film the board so. I've got to do it before someone else goes and tries and takes the glory. Um, but I was saying, like, I haven't fit off a board. Like, obviously, I'm not on the tools every day, so I'm not fitting off boards all the time. Um, I, th I think on the project we did last year, I think I fit off one of the one of the DVDs. Maybe not even full one. Maybe it's like half one side or something. So, oh, maybe this could be. And water tank. You know what I was saying about the battery being dead before? The other thing is the bloody water tank in the coffee machine. Always gets, never gets filled up. Uh, now, like I said, one of the first in Australia to install this. We've had it, had it here for a while. There might be a few more getting done at the moment, but we have been waiting to uh, get it installed. So what's the difference? Well, if you look here, there's a neutral terminal that feeds the chassis. So, none of your RCBOs require a neutral tail out to the bar. So it's literally bring your feed in, on neutral, straight in, bang, bang, bang. So the idea is that it's gonna be a heaps quicker install. It's gonna be a neater install. I guess that's the the main the main point really. Quicker, neater, but the good thing is, which I'll show you. We can run straight off the bottom here and we can feed I think we'll fit five five three fades CBs down there. And if we did our RCBOs, I'm pretty sure the RCBOs fit in the chassis. So, you've also got DIN here. How many poles are that? One, two, three, four, five. And then you've got the same here. I think that's like three, three DIN and then, a, and then four, four here. So, there's a heap of extra DIN on there compared to other boards, which is really good. I have to start. I'm gonna be using um, boot laces. So I've got my boot lace crimpers here. I've got the cross cuts. I'm gonna give them a red hot crack. Um, flush cuts. These are sick for cutting, especially for cutting XLPE. They work really well, the NWS. Um, got a knife. I got my um, vessel screwdriver. I think this is bloody probably not charged up. And I gotta come back on a search but I've, every time I pull one of these out, I, I don't like this one because see how it's got the knife on it 
think it's pretty dangerous. I'm gonna try and get that off because it's there's no need for that um, on there. So I'm probably just gonna grind that off because I feel like every time I try and use it, I nearly slice my hand off with that. Um, every time I've pulled one of these out, this is like big, when I did my apprenticeship, I always use these in commercial. When I pull them out now, heaps of people haven't even seen them, don't know what they are. So if you haven't seen one of these, let me know in the comments, but they're probably the best thing ever for stripping orange cirque. Couple of screwdrivers, some fluke screwdrivers. Um, we've got cable tie mounts if you don't use these in boards, sticky backs. What are you doing? Got a bit of surf, and then, like I said, I got to try and find my torque wrench, which I was hoping is in the back here, but it's not. But it's not. Oh, it is. It is. So, and torque screwdriver. So we will be talking all, all our connections, that's it. So these are already terminated. I'm gonna redo these because this is the existing. These are already like this. See, I don't like that. So they're, they're, all, they're all existing from the old board. So there was a distribution board here before, an old Hager one which we pulled out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re-terminate these that one's already heat shrinked. So I'll be re-terminating these. I'm not gonna worry about them now. I'm gonna try and get the board sort of done. So I'm just gonna jam them back up there. Pretend they're sort of sweet. And we'll worry about all our sub circuits first. And then I'll see how we're going for time and then I'll probably get these all tested and re-stripped because I've got the I've got the big crimper there. So if I can get that done, that'd be pretty cool. But first of all, I'm gonna start with my orange cirques. I'm gonna strip them out. And then I'm gonna strip these out. So if all these are tied nicely on the same same side. I'm gonna strip these back to probably about here. I'm gonna put a sticky back on that side. And then I'm gonna get all my circuits run down now because the chassis split, like I said, we had heaps of other cables in here. So I would have split these 50-50, but I had this whole side was orange circs. And you'll see that in some of the B-roll that I drop over. That whole side was orange cirques. This was just the TPS, but now I would flip it over, but it comes down and goes through a knob, like it's not gonna happen. So we will tie these down and I'll try and tie nicely behind here and then loop into there. So with these, like I said, ideally you wouldn't have that on there. I don't like that. You can set your blade with this dial on the bottom. So I normally do like a little test. I normally grab the end of the cable. It clips on like that. Spin it around and pull up. And I'll just do a little test on the end of the cable. Make sure that I haven't gone through any of the cores on there. And that's cut it perfectly. So I know that's set to the right depth on there. Now when I'm gonna do all these, I'm just gonna make a mark where I, where I want and get them all at the same, stripped to the same length, keep it all neat. Okay, now we're fully stripped out. As you can see, see how I was saying before, like all the, like with these cables, these, you can see the red line. So I know all my reds are on this side. So what I'll do, as you'll see through the video, is I'll group all my reds together and pull them out, all my earths and all my neutrals. And that's what gives you that real nice clean, especially when everything's cut to the same, same line there as well. So it's gonna look super neat with that. Um, the next thing I'll do is label the ends so I know what I'm working with. So make sure my neutrals and, so I'm just, obviously we don't have many breakers, so it's easy. It's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 on this side. Obviously one to 
nine, one, three, five, seven, nine on this side. So that's what I'll label the ones I'm taking over here and the other ones here. So, you know, my, say this is my number two, it's the neutral will be labeled two, the earth will be labeled two, and the active will be labeled two, and that's bang, bang, bang. So I like how these boards have these loops already in them. So you don't need the sticky backs because you can use these for cable ties, which is really good. Yeah, it'll start coming together. He, the sticky backs, the 3M sticky backs. Is everyone using these in your boards for cable ties? Really good. Um, just stick a few around. It's a good addition to getting everything just tied really neat to the back of the board. <clears throat> so I'll just, you see, I'm just doing these earths. So they'll just tie like that. I'll put another one here and then I'll just loop them around into that. I'm gonna start with the earths first. These are just all the earths back from the, um, from the solar and the battery system. So I'm gonna tie them in now and then I'll start with my first load of sub circuits. So I'm gonna, I'll tie them neatly. I'm gonna bring them down to here, cross them across, and then bang, 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 loop them through. So straighten out these cables. <clears throat> you normally want gloves or a sleeve on. But just pushing it down. And it's just gonna straighten all the kinks out of them. So now you can see we've straightened them out. They just sit like primo like that and I'll tie them over to probably towards the back side and then I'll start bringing them down individually, cut them across, loop them in. Oh, I'll switch it up, I'm not bringing them down here, I'm coming around there because it's heaps more protected, otherwise you're gonna be behind this bus here, behind all these uh, link bars, so straight behind there and then we can slip something there if we had to, but it's heaps of clearance there. I got my whole hand behind there, so they're, they're tied down. They're not gonna go anywhere. I'm not gonna be touching anything there. So then I'm gonna bring our neutrals down here, earths down, actives down, separate. So when you look back, it should all flow pretty nicely. And then these ones will just fold over the top there. So should look pretty nice. Shout out to these lads. Sunday morning, got them out of bed. Backing in what they say on the window. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just redoing my earths now with the boot laces. I'll just get them all sort of prepped and go back over them. Um, besides done. So that side's all done. So it's getting a bit neater as it goes, and then we still got to deal with that. Iron, the iron circ's gonna look shit, I know that. I hate bringing iron circs into chassis boards, but I've got a bit of an idea. I'll try and make it a bit neater. Um, obviously, this will get redone and, and come in nicely, so that'll make that look a bit different. We've got to get the emergency test kit here, so that sort of hides, hides that, I think. Big things just like, if you can hide stuff, like where all your vents are, so that'll be there. There'll also be the energy meter up here. So that's the energy meter. Um, got a surge protection, so I have to wire this in as well. I don't think I'll get that done today. I'll probably do that when I do the energy meter. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the battery stuff yet either. So I'll do that and I'm gonna load some spares in here as well. I'm just gonna start on the other side so I got same thing, lay them out. Reds on one side, combed out.
I want to try and make both sides look the same, which is a hard thing, because now I've done that side, I know what I'd do differently this side, but I'm going to have to try and match it so it doesn't look weird. And like one side is going to look better than the other, so I'll try and match it. So I'll give you another tip of what you do here. So obviously, of, bleh, sorry, I'll give you another tip of what I do here to get these lined up nicely. So they're obviously labeled two to four, six, eight, ten, uh, how this is, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And then I'm folding from the bottom, work your way from the bottom up. So then the next one on top of that, that was the 12, the next one's the 10, and then the, the eight, six, four, two, so on. So it's just folding up above it. So then that's gonna get your nice line when you come down. So your top cable here should be your top cable here, and so on, okay? That's the best way of doing it, I think. If you've got another option, let me know. All right, we're nearly nearly done. Still got to terminate all these, all the sub mains. Um, got to still got to do the earth. I've done one of the iron circs down, so I've still got to neaten that up a little bit. Still got to do the earth for that as well. Still got to hook in the SPDs, um, and then we'll tie this into here, that other orange circ that's floating around up there is gonna come into there as well. But it's kind of the gist of it. Now, I was saying like, when you when you do it, you kind of get a bit through. Like now, I had, I did want to bring these like down here and come across. And I switched over here, what I was saying is because I did it there on this side, I kind of wanted to match the the way it came in here, but I don't like it over here. Um, I don't know if that's just me being OCD or not, but if I step, stand back, it looks messy now because of that, um, the top cable is coming in. So hopefully once these are sort of laid out nice and straight and all looking the same, might not look as bad at the top there. Um, obviously once you start adding in all your um, emergency lighting and stuff and you got your tails coming out it gets a bit gets a bit messier as well um but yeah let me know what you reckon that's the first one of the first boards i've done in a, in a while um there's still a little bit to go on it um so pretty much for the um Clipsal max 9 pro it's so good like i'm, I'm loving it um it's definitely neat for someone like I haven't done a board for a while, like I said. So jumping straight back into that, it's it is super neat to to do because you obviously don't have your neutral tails. But I yeah, I rate it. I think it's it's such a cool idea um, just to not have just to have the neutral on the chassis. So can you see what you guys think? What do you reckon? Is it going to go be something that you purchase? I don't know the price. So I can't tell you that um, what they're costing, but the I guess the claims that it's gonna be quicker, it's gonna save you time, so if it's a little bit more expensive, you should be saving time on your install. So I'll, I took it a bit, I took it pretty slow. I, I don't know, I was ducking in and out, and because I was trying to film, obviously adds time. Um, I wish I had the GoPro and I just had POV on, would have been easier. But yeah, let me know what you think. Have I cooked it or is it all right? Does it pass? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. What you reckon about this board? Did I do good? Is it up to the standard of the guys that work for me? Probably not, but I'm pretty happy with it for not being, not have done one in a, in a while. So see ya on the next one.